Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by once again as we sample some more great-tasting international beer with Dr. Dave. Imagine that. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have a beer from Poland. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is Warka. And I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. If my great-grandmother here, were here, she could pronounce it. Yeah, she was born in Poland. Worka, probably Varka, Vorka, Varka. Yeah, but at any rate, apparently it's been brewed since 1478. Man, that is a lot of centuries, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. That's six and a half centuries. But uh, this is a pale ale, according to the website. It doesn't say pale ale on here. It says uh, selected ingredients, Polish hops, yada, 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 classically brewed and matured, rich flavor. Uh, it says a lot of things on here, no doubt about it. Uh, the one thing I didn't see, and I had to look up, and I'm going to tell you right now, uh, the alcohol by volume, let me see where did I write that. The alcohol by volume is 5.2% alcohol. Uh, this is a 500 milliliter bottle, so it's a little a little bit over 16, almost 17 ounces here in the States. So uh, I don't have this bottle cap, so... Let me place it over here because I've had some pretty bad luck with bottles, uh, international bottles lately. They foam up and they come up over the top. So I'm going to open this very carefully and very slowly. What I recommend is that you open these bottles like you would a hot radiator on a bloody hot day. See, I don't have that bottle cap. So that's going to be a good one. Uh, that was a plain Jane right there. Yeah, so it's good. It's good to open them slow and steady, i tell you that much. So we're going to go ahead and use this lovely fluted glassware. Now let's see what we got. I'm expecting a light pour, and that's what we got. A lively carbonation in there. Not a whole lot there in the aroma. I'm not expecting uh, big things from this beer, but I am expecting it to be a, a very drinkable beer. Very beautiful, bright golden color. Oh, it made some lovely foam on there, too. Now, the carbonation is in there. It's not lively, but there's some carbonation in there. I'm getting some faint malt and grain in there. I'm not getting a whole lot in the aroma. Now, this beer did sit out on the countertop maybe about five minutes, so it's relatively cold, still cold. Uh, possibly as it warms, it may bring forth more aromas. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and drink it. We're going to thank the brewers there in Poland for all the hard work they do in bringing this beer to market, especially all the way over here in the States. Many thanks to you for doing that. And cheers to everybody at home. You got it. I wouldn't expect it to be uh, that sweet. It is It is quite sweet. Now, I don't know what this is brewed with. I have no idea if there are adjuncts in here. I can look it up later on the web, and I'll put the uh, information into the description box, but I have no clue what this is brewed with. Now, a lot of times when they say, uh, the best ingredients, who knows what they're really talking about. Uh, classically brewed and matured, rich flavor. Uh, what does this say? Selected ingredients, Polish hops. I don't know what all that means. Who knows? Very um, sweet. Flavor here. I don't know. That could be from the malts. It could be from adjuncts, but it's not overly sweet. It's not super sweet. It's not sugary sweet. Uh, some of the American adjunct lagers, they're horribly sweet. This is not like that. This is not horribly sweet. 
This is a very doable beer. Uh, this would be at home in the backyard with a picnic or the family barbecue. This is a nondescript beer. It's not offensive in any shape. It is a good drinking beer. This beer is best served really cold. Now, this beer hasn't been sitting out that long, like I said, but uh, it would be best served cold. Not necessarily ice cold. Don't ever put your beers in the freezer. But you do want to keep them cold. And this beer uh, is one of those beers that you would want to drink cold. Very refreshing, though. It's a lot of malt in there. There's nothing wrong with malty beers. A lot of people are turned off by malty beers. But if you've ever uh, consumed Asian beers, you ever been to an Asian restaurant, I don't care if it's Vietnam, Korea, China, it doesn't matter, Japan, their beers are malty. Their beers are super malty. Yeah. So if you don't like that style of beer, I can understand that's a different part of the world. But um, this beer would take some uh, getting used to, is what I'm trying to say. But as long as you keep it cold, I don't think there's anything wrong with this beer at all. I don't think there's anything wrong. And you can always put your stir stick in here and just go ahead and liven it up a little bit. Yeah, because, you know, if it was a really bad, horrible beer, you wouldn't be able to put your stir stick in here and liven it up. And, uh, you know, that looks very nice. I like the way that looks. So uh, I'm going to describe this as a light body beer with a light mouthfeel. It has um, light to medium carbonation. Um, and it, it would be best with your foods in the backyard or at a barbecue. Yeah, this is a, a non-offensive beer. So while it may not be anything to write home about, it is good to try new beers from different parts of the world. And like I said, this is probably pronounced more with a V, Varka, Varka. Yeah, because uh, I don't think uh, Polish people pronounce the W, but uh, it says classic beer. So that's classic beer from their part of the world. And, uh, yeah, don't knock it until you try it, you know. Uh, this is what they enjoy in Poland. Prost. Cheers. <laughs> Very easy drinking beer, though. So with that said, my friends, life is short. Let's be happy. And until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of your guys. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie 
and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway, they have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club. So I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I, I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um, this is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So 
I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.